IMD one. In this example, I want to show you how you can convert a number into words in both Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. And this is something that you cannot do the traditional way since there is no inbuilt method to do this in either of the software. But we have two separate Visual Basic codes that will allow you to do this in a single click. Let us start with the Excel file. And um, we have a few numbers with us here. So we have 100, 1500, 1550, and 1,760. The first thing you would want to do is to enable the developer tab. If you cannot see the developer tab on your system, that means that it has to be enabled one time. For this, you can go to file and then go to options, select customize ribbon, and you will see an option called developer. All you have to do is to check the box and this will get added to Microsoft Excel. Once you see the developer tab, click on the first option that you see that is for Visual Basic and a new window will open up. Now in this window, you might see certain things that um, might seem strange, but you have to focus to the left. At the moment, we are working on book one, which is this one. And all you have to do is to right click, insert a module. And in this module that you have, so we have module one and module two. Let's say that we only have one module. So in this module that you have, all you have to do is to copy the code from the text document and that you can find on GitHub. I have that code with me here on my desktop. So I will open Excel underscore macro. Just press control A and copy the entire code. Come back and paste it in the module. That is it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't even need to save it right now. Close the Visual Basic window. And now a function has been created inside Excel, which would be equal to convert to INR. And all you have to do is to select the value and it will get converted into words like this. Let us also see how we can do the same thing in Microsoft Word as well. So let me open a Word document. Like before, you first have to enable the developer tab. Go to Visual Basic. Here as well, you have to right click and insert a module. Once you have done that, copy the code from word underscore macro dot txt. Control A and Control C. Let me just check if this is the right code that we have. Let us see how we can do the same thing in Microsoft Word as well. First, make sure to enable the developer tab as we had done with Excel. Go to Visual Basic and insert a module. Then open the word underscore macro txt. Copy the code. Come back and simply paste it in the module. Once you have done this, let us say we have a table in which some numbers have been given.
all you have to do is to copy these numbers. Select the numbers, go to developer, select the second option from the left, which is macros. And you have the macro here called convert number to word. Simply click on run. And you will notice that one by one, if you select that macro, it will convert it into words. With a little more effort, you can also automate this so that you don't have to do it one by one for all the values that you have, but you can always create a shortcut. For example, I can go to file and then options. And here we have the quick access toolbar. In this, you can choose the commands, which are macros and just take this macro and add it to the quick access toolbar. Once you do that, it is going to come in the QAT that we have. So if you notice carefully, we have the macro that has appeared in the quick access toolbar. So all you have to do is to click on this, select a number, click on the macro and it gets converted like this. So there you go, two different ways, one for converting a number into words in Excel and the other for converting number into words in Word. At the moment, it is not converting in Word into rupees, that would be lakhs, crores and so on. But uh, this is good enough and it gets the job done.